Good morning. This is Doug Thugging for Friday, January 8th, 2016. Uh, I'm going to rip through this because I've got some stuff to do. Today is uh, my long weekend, so I've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday off, and I've got a bunch of shit to do. I'm actually meeting one of my old bosses um, for coffee at Starbucks at 2 o'clock. So that's cool, and that's just to catch up on things. So we'll probably chat for about an hour, and then he'll go his way and I'll go mine. So I hope your Christmas and New Year's was rocking. I think the last time I said anything or posted anything on YouTube anyways, uh, I was sitting on the couch. Alex wasn't feeling well. And uh, yeah, we're just kind of hanging out. So my parents sent me a package. Um, I don't know if you know about my Eddie Van Halen star guitar, but I bought one of those things from the Van Halen um, store, which is the, uh, I've got it right here in my hand. Uh, it's It's... It's a pick tin with the Charvel Star graphic on it. And, of course, the, the picks are too thin to use, so they'll just kind of sit around. So my parents, yeah, what I do is usually, because I'm out here in Australia, I'll send stuff to my dad, and I'll ask my dad, pretty please, to send it out to me. And he gave me a whole fucking thing of underwear, because the last time I was in the States, I bought underwear from Walmart that I didn't end up liking, so I just threw them in the door, drawer and said, fuck it. Well, they grabbed them all, and they put them in a box, so... And then for Christmas, they got me, uh, they sent us some money, which was lovely. And then uh, they sent me some um, antique guitars. So I got one that is see-through. Oh, you'll probably see pictures of it. I got another one that's like a, an acoustic guitar. And I got another one that's a fucking little violin. But they're all antiques. It's really lovely. And a pack of strings, Bell Brand, trademark registered guitar strings, one set. I think it's early 60s, so... Lovely, my parents, to do that. Thank you, Lou and Patty. I love you both dearly. So, yeah, New Year's Eve. Um, yeah, I did drink. And I made the mistake. Here's the fucked up part. I made the mistake of, of asking people on Facebook if I should drink or not, thinking it would be kind of a fun thing. Well, it wasn't. A lot of people think that I've got a fucking drinking problem. And let me tell you something. I don't. Um, I binge drink. I'll give you that. Like, if I'm going to drink, I'm going to go fucking hard. Uh, and my liver, you know, I guess cops some abuse. I mean, I've been drinking since I was 15, so 15 to 46. What is that, like 31 years of drinking? Doctor said, slow up a bit. He didn't say stop. He just said slow up. But I don't do things in halves, so I just said, fuck it. I'll just stop. So anyways, um, I found the uh, the Facebook uh, posts from uh, friends and acquaintances annoying the ones that were saying oh you've come this far you know you you got to keep your sobriety going it's like i i i got pissed off so i eventually deleted the fucking post bought six beers went to a friend's house and and slammed the fuck out of them and yes i was drunk and at one stage probably more drunk than anybody there and at the end of it, I got very tired. They were playing a game in the other room, and I couldn't participate because I wanted to go to sleep. So the very next day, I didn't have a horrible hangover, and I just went, you know what? Yeah, I'm really not missing much, so I'm back on it. And I won't probably drink, I'm not going to say ever again, but it'll be long, long periods of time. Like, I'm well, I don't know what happened to my brain to make me kind of well, I think it was probably the doctor saying, chill out, but I think I'm over it. Like, whatever it, whatever need it served has been met, and uh, yeah. My wife got a bike for her for Christmas, and uh, I'm actually, I've got a loaner here. My brother-in-law has loaned me his. I've been getting stuck into that. I'm riding almost every day, and I really, really like it. Have I lost any weight? No, because I probably still eat shit, but... That's neither here nor there. You know, you're 47. It's you know, My body will never look like it's 20 fucking four. And I, I probably do have the time to make that happen. But fuck that. No way. Um, yeah, look, over the last month, no, not even month, two weeks, especially last week, my God, I had a Nine Inch Nails Trent Reznor fest. Um, now, the Downward Spiral is a fucking great album and you need to own it and you need to listen to it from beginning to end 
because it is the fucking shit. God damn, there are so many good songs on there. So anyways, last week I had a day off and I wanted to chill at home. So I watched a couple of uh, Trent Reznor uh, interviews on YouTube and then watched a couple of documentaries. Uh, well, there's only one real documentary that this dude made. I think his name is Thomas Guitar. It was actually 35 minutes long and pretty good. I liked it. And um, then I watched another one about industrial music and Nine, Inches, Nine Inch Nails kind of contribution to that. That was good. I, I, I love industrial music. I really, really do. Um, even if it has like a slight dance edge or, or just some sort of four on the floor groove right into it. I really, really love it. But yeah, so I was, I've been getting into nine inch nails, uh, downward spiral. And I also had on CD, um, the fragile, which kind of split people. A lot of people didn't like it. A lot of people did. I fucking loved it. I thought it was a great sequel to, um, downward spiral, to be honest. Um, I just started listening to with teeth. Um, and only got maybe halfway through that, and I just found the fucking album on YouTube and started playing that while I was doing dishes. So, I love Trent Reznor, and um, this one summer, Alex and I were in Brisbane, and we were just we were at Alan's Music, kind of walking around, and in the keyboard section was Trent Reznor. Now, I've never really been shy to go up and talk to you know people that are. Uh, famous, successful, that kind of thing. And um, I couldn't do it with him. I could not do it with him. So it was me pushing my wife to talk to him and then her pushing. And we just looked like a couple of fucking assholes. And, you know, he's looking at keyboards and shit. And we're just like, go talk to him, go talk to him. What are you going to say? And you're like, no, 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 you talk to him. You talk to him. I, I'm like, fuck, I really, I got, I got nothing. I got nothing. And instead of bugging him, we just kind of walked off. And, uh, yeah, I totally fucking regret uh, not saying hi, even if I come off as a fanboy douche. So I'll never do that again. Uh, My guitar amps are still in the shop, which is fine. Um, He asked, I got a message from Simon, and he asked me if I wanted to, if he wanted, if I wanted him to fix the uh, chorus section of the Ampeg, and I said, yes, please. And he says he has to reinstall all the software. Uh on the VETA because the VETA is completely fucking blank. And I asked him if it was expensive, and he goes, not really, but it's just a pain in the ass for him. And I do feel bad, but I need that fucking amp working at some stage because Alarm's going to play gigs probably starting in April. not entirely sure. Uh, but, yeah, um, Australia's summer. We're in summer. You can't tell because you look outside and it's shit. Like, if I open this front door here, it looks like ass. And, oh, actually, wait a minute. I take that back. It's not a summer day, but it is sunny outside. And, like earlier, there were clouds and shit. It looked like it was going to rain, but now that's kind of burned off. So, I kind of take that back. But could you swim in it? It's not your typical California summer day. So, good for Australia. For California, not cutting it at all. So, Australia, lift your fucking game. I don't give a shit if it's global warming or whatever the fuck um and i might clean the the backyard after i visit my buddy paul um i've been i don't know i'm i don't know if you know this but i'm into true crime so i've been reading i got another book about ted bundy i've read just about all of them this one's called defending the devil uh my story is ted bundy's last lawyer paulie nelson and no i don't like bundy i don't think he's cool i think he's a fucking cockhead uh, and if, and I'm glad he's dead, but for some reason, I just, I'm pretty obsessed with his mental faculties, I guess. Like, uh, yes, he's a psychopath and I, 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 I feel I'm a pretty good judge of character. So, and I think I'd be able to spot him as being fucking, well, I mean, normal people did. They're like, yeah, this guy's a fucking phony, you know, in terms of, uh, the way he represented himself as a human avatar i guess but uh yeah i just like to read shit about ted bundy and see if there's anything i can kind of glean from it i am pretty fascinated with the uh, psychopathic mind and it's fucked because my um my father-in-law is a professor of criminal psychology but he's so burnt out that he will not discuss any of that shit with me 
well, obviously, A, because it's horrific, and B, because he's done it for so long, he's fucking over it. And my wife, I think she's going back to university to study psychology. She doesn't want to talk about it with me. And she thinks that my obsession with Ted is a little bit off. She finds it off-putting, and it scares her a little bit. I just, I don't know, I just hate the guy so much. I need to know more about him. How far, yeah, well, I don't think it's obsessive as it is stupid. It could be learning an arpeggio or something. So that's where we're at now. Um, I might clean my backyard today. I got I got to do something semi-fucking, I can't let this Friday just go to shit. Um, I'm thinking of shaving my head and doing a bit of manscaping. I might have to go get, fucking my ears waxed how best how stupid does that sound i've got hair coming out of my ears now i wish that was a joke it is not a joke i'm fucking old um so i might have to get my ears waxed i'm thinking of shaving my head down to skin because um fucking i'm bald so i'll talk to some buddies on facebook that have got bald heads and find out if they shave every day every other day but i might shave that shit down today and it's fucked because i've been picking on a scab on my head so that if I take a razor and go over that, I'm going to fucking recut the fucker. Yeah. Maybe I'll just wear a cap. What are we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow, I don't know, hanging out with wife. Wife means probably a bike ride somewhere, something to that effect. We might, we're might. we looking on Gumtree for a bike for me, like a hybrid or some shit. I don't know, like a $200, $300 jobby, whatevs. Um, I'll probably clean the house because this whole time I've been talking, I've been walking around the fucking house. And, um, oh, just for you guitar players out there, try the Diodario Diodario, uh, New York XLs. I get um, 9 to 42 and then slap just a normal, what is it, 60 on the seven string and Bob's your uncle. But I've been looking through some boxes that we have in the house and I've got so many fucking strings, dude. I'm set for a good five years because I don't change them a lot either. And I've got a big bag of batteries. <laughs> I am. I'm, look, maybe I'm a hoarder. I don't know. But that's where we're at right now. And then Sunday. Oh, Sunday. What am I doing? I'm recording. The Brothel album is almost done. And Trusty, the singer, wants me to come in and play guitar solo over one of the songs. So that'll be kind of cool. So I'll just probably grab my HD 500, uh, go down to the studio. And uh, oh, I forget what the place is called, but the... Um, the uh, the sound guy for Nea Bliviscaris, Troy McCasker, yeah, he runs the studio somewhere out in Hallam. So that happens uh, Sunday afternoon, and of course I'm back to a job that I that gives me zero fucking gratification. That kicks it off on Monday for a six day thing. So I think that's it. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope at least one person's listening to this motherfucker to the very end, or else I'm a fucking jackass. And listen to Nine Inch Nails, preferably those albums I said. I should, yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking out loud. All right. Take care of yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.